It's Scott Simmons on Salt Spring Island, and I'm with Fernando. He's the vice president of the Tennis Association, and we're standing in the brand new tennis facility on Salt Spring Island. So, Fernando, it's been your project going along for how long now? Well, the Tennis Association has been working on getting an indoor facility for about 10 years. Um, I've been involved for the last three. Erica Ross is the president. Between her and myself, we've been working pretty much uh, for that, that time to try and get this built. We had a contract with the golf club uh, as of about uh, a year and a half ago. And since then, we've managed to get this up. It's been quite an endeavor, and we've had a lot of community support, which has helped us a lot. And uh, we're hoping that it'll be here for the next 100 years for everyone on the island to enjoy. It's a one-court tennis facility. It has an amenity area behind, that's behind here, which has a lounge area and a wheelchair accessible bathroom. And this is a, a regulation size tennis court. Uh, yes, that's right. Permasteel, Norm Elliott is the owner of Permasteel. He's from Salt Spring, and Permasteel is a large, per, uh, Percon is their uh, construction name, is a large company that manufactures steel buildings, and they built this for us and could not have been better. They were absolutely fantastic. And we've, been, we've had tremendous help with the building. Um, everyone has been great. And night, we're about two weeks away from our opening, which will be about on August 10th. And um, the, only, the only thing remaining now is that we have to surface the court, which will occur on the 27th of August, uh, July, pardon me. And uh, that takes four coats and takes about 10 days. And a few days after that, we're ready for our opening. Yes, I uh, took a lot of research to figure out what lights to use. We've gone with high energy efficient T5 uh, fluorescents, which are have the highest uh, quality of light of any uh, light available. It's got a rating of 85, which 100 being perfect, CRI rating. It feels like you're outside on a cloudy day, which is the perfect conditions for playing tennis. It ended up costing us, we went over budget, but yes, uh, the building itself was just over 300,000, 306, I believe, and the site costs were about 300. We do get the, thankfully we get the HST back because we are registered. So the out of pocket cost to us will be about $540,000. That's right. Uh, there's a 10 by 60 uh, viewing area. On one side there's a bathroom and on the other side a storage area. So the actual viewing area is 40 by 60. The building itself is 130 feet long and 60 feet wide. It is. Uh, regulation tennis courts, 120 by 60, so the 10 feet at the end uh, bring it to the 130 uh, foot area. The structure inside that we have for the lounge area and the bathroom is actually a separate structure. Because this is a steel building, it's two inches from the building. It's a, a structure within the structure, which is quite interesting. Thank you. Come back in two weeks when it's finished. Congratulations on a project that's just been, it's been how long? 10 years almost? Yes and it's gone through various stages on Salt Spring, and this is just something that will last forever. You should be very proud of it, Fernando. We are. How about a kiss? <laughs>